Hi. So in this video, we're going to show you how to sketch the graph of a line. Start with the equation right here. And the uh, first step in this process is we want to get this in slope-intercept form. So this will just be some algebra here. I'm going to get y by itself on one side and everything else on the other side with like terms combined and everything simplified. Um, so what we do is just subtract the 3x from both sides. And of course, 3x minus 3x goes to 0. We get that. Now we just need to divide everything by negative 2. And we get the slope-intercept form. And we put the x term first. That's positive. 3 halves x. We don't really need the plus sign. And uh, this is negative 9 halves. All right, so that's the equation we're going to be graphing, and uh, you know, that's our slope is 3 halves, positive 3 halves. And then we have our y-intercept is the negative 9 halves. So these numbers are pretty small, and we can end up using a regular integer scale for our graph. Let's go ahead and get the graph now. So we don't have to label those tick marks unless we change them from the integers, from the 1, 2, 3, and so on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the y-intercept, and we're going to put a point on the graph corresponding to that. So remember, this is our y-axis. And so the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Negative 9 halves is between negative 4 and negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So halfway between there, and that'll be our point, right? and that's the point, 0, negative 9 halves. Next, we're going to use the slope to move to the next point. Okay, So the slope, if it's not written as a fraction, like if you had a slope like 5, you need to write it as a fraction 5 over 1. This one's already in a fraction, and the top number tells you to go up or down. If it's negative, go down. If it's positive, go up. And it tells you how many units, and then this one tells you how to go right. So what this tells us is that we go 3 up, since it's positive 3, and 2 to the right. Okay. So going up 3, we go 1, 2, 3. Right? And then going to the right 2, we go 1, 2. I'll put us right there. And the coordinates of that point are now 2, negative 3 halves. Right. So we don't really want this here now. Okay, now we've got two points. We're ready to connect the dots with a straight line. So ideally, we'd use a straight edge. If you're doing this on paper, you may use a ruler. I don't seem to have one around. So just to do the best I can, you're drawing a straight line connecting these two points. And you want to put little arrows on the end. All right. And there's a nice complete graph of that equation. We got one more example. The other example is y equals negative 400. Now this one is already in slope-intercept form, and the slope is the negative 400. 
and the y-intercept is zero. You could write plus zero there if you want. So you don't have that constant term, it's just a y-intercept of zero. Right? So for the y-intercept of being a zero, that means that's going to be a point at the origin. And so that's an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So we can go ahead and put that dot in the middle for that y-intercept, point zero zero. All right, now let's take a look at this slope. I mentioned before that if the slope's not a whole number, you want to make it a whole number. So this slope of negative 400, we want to write that as negative 400 over 1. And so that tells us to go down 400 units and to the right one unit. Now, we can't do an integer scale here because 400 will be way too far. So we need to adjust the scale on the y-axis when this happens. So anytime these numbers are too big or too small, you want to go ahead and adjust that. So we can put normal tick marks, but we need to indicate that these are in fact negative 100. So then it's negative 200, negative 300, and then this will be negative 400. So if you can label those, then you can make those different. And since we're just going right one, it's fine to just keep these as one, two, three. So that'll be one. You don't have to label it, but if they're different, I like to go ahead and label it, even if one of them is one, two, three. OK, so starting at the origin, now we want to go down 400 and right one. So down 100, 200, 300, 400, and then go to the right one. And that'll put us right there, at the point 1, negative 400. Okay. We got our second dot, so again, we'll just do a nice straight line connecting these. Okay. And there's our graph. That's all there is to it. Obviously, this can get a little more complicated if you have larger, small numbers for the y-intercept and the slope, but uh, for basic graphs, this should cover it.